So in this lesson, we're going to learn some of the core functions of Chessbase, notably how to create a database and enter our first game. Now, as you can see on this window here, I have no databases. So to create our first one, we're going to right click on it and choose new database or control X, or we can click on the button new and create a database there. It opens up an option here and we can enter any name we want or even choose the type of database. For the moment, let's just leave it as it is. Now, as you can see, it's a gray icon, not very inspiring, kind of, well, basic. If I were to right click on it and choose properties, I get a bunch of options here, work, my games, large database, informant, and these allow me to append new icons, whichever one I prefer. Let's leave, oh, let's see, openings. And we click on okay. And now we have a new icon for our database. So let's open it up and see what happens. Well, we have an empty list, which makes sense. It's a new database, but there are no games. So what do we do? We go to the board button right here and we click on it and it opens up a brand new window with a board on the side and the notation with no moves. So to enter our game, all we have to do is move the pieces on the board. So let's play a few moves. Let's say E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, Bishop C4, Knight F6, and d4. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mean d4. I meant knight g5. What do I do? Well, all you have to do is either click on knight f6 and enter a new move. Let's see, knight g5. And you can see in here that it opens up an option here. It can be a new variation, a new mainline, or overwrite, meaning erasing the original move. Let's do new variation. Oh, but wait a minute. Knight g5 was actually the main move. It's not a variation. So what do we do here? Well, all you have to do is right click on it and you click on promote variation or alt up if you can remember the shortcut. And now knight g5 is the main move with d4 relegated to the variation. And you can continue on playing moves. Let's say h6, whatever, and so on. Now, suppose we wanna save our game. What do we do? Well, we click over here on file. We choose save game as new database, which is the database that we created. It's fine. We click OK. And here we have all of the options to enter our data. So let's click on the name white and we'll say the player was white. And then we go to black and the name was black. And who won this game? Well, white won this game. So we click on one zero. And of course, you can enter all of the other information that you desire. Name of the tournament, the annotator, ECO, etc. And we click on OK. Now, if we close this and we go back to our database, we can see in the list, we now have one entry, number one, white versus black, one O. And you can see here in the preview window, the first moves or the moves of the game to give you a quick glimpse of the game before you actually open up a full board. And that, my friend, is the lesson of the day.